Hey, welcome back to another video here as we continue to explore how we can use generative AI within local government. In my most popular video on this channel, I'll link to it right up here, I looked at this tool called Ghost Writer. Well, since then, I've been doing a lot more research and playing around this tool, and I can't wait to show you some really, really interesting features and how great this tool is. So as you've seen that first video, Ghost Writer is simply a add-in that allows us to bring the capabilities of GPT within Microsoft, right? Very, very similar to, say, Copilot, which is being released soon to the general public and to kind of general 365 license holders. However, it's at a, almost a fraction of the cost. So for here, let's say, please write a purchasing policy for the city of Abilene, Texas. Make sure I spell that right. Type of role. And for this one, let's go with finance, working on policies. That's good. Let's see if I can find policies. Yep, there's policies. Writing two, let's just keep it not applicable. For this one, let's make it very precise. I'm not sure what that is there for, but we'll take that out. Shorten to the point, let's do long multi-pages for right now. And let's use the prompt into the document. And so it's going to take some time to write this through, but then hopefully we'll have a, a very robust purchasing policy that we can obviously review and check to make sure it lines up with what we want and is uh, is accurate and applicable to our city. So here we have it, the purchasing policy. This is about a three-page document that it just generated for us right here, which is really, really interesting how quickly it did that. Now let's do this. Let's say, please write a job description for a city engineer for the city of Eloy AZ. Again, we're going to put it into the document. For this one, let's go down to human resources. Do we have human resources? Perfect. Working on, let's see, is there any type of job descriptions or anything like that? Otherwise, I'll just keep it blank. Let me just keep it blank for right now. Let's do not applicable. That's fine. Let's do medium multi-length response. And again, prompt to write into the document. All right. So the city engineer job description is done. Here we have it. Responsibilities, qualifications, kind of a brief paragraph we can put in there, a brief uh, job description we can put into there. The thing that makes this really great is, you know, when it comes to our job descriptions, we like having the header and the and how we kind of have it all laid out and things like that in terms of our template. Well, we can just have the template already created and then using Ghostwriter for government or Ghostwriter, we can generate the content right into here. Now, let me show you something that I think is really interesting about this. So let's look at this job description here. So it talks about preparing, reviewing, engineering plans, conducting feasibility studies to analyze data, all the stuff like this, right? So let's say here the qualifications, here's all the qualifications here, knowledge of this, strong communication and personal skills, excellent project management, organizational skills. Let's say in here, we want to emphasize something. Say we want to really emphasize the ability to prioritize and manage multiple tasks simultaneously. Let's, and let's say we want to do that by making it two separate items instead of one item here. So let's say, let's make this bullet two separate ones. It'll probably give me a longer response. Yeah, because I didn't change the length on here. So it can give me a little longer response here. But you get the idea that you can quickly put your comments right into here, right? Which is great. Let's grab another example. If we come up here and let's say we want to I'm gonna change the length real quick here. That way I don't forget to forget about that. Let's say I want to rewrite this right here. Let's hit enter. It's gonna think it through. And then down here is the response. So I can copy this or I can insert it into the document. So I can just click this right here and there we have it. It's inserted right in the document. So you can see a little bit different in terms of 
of the first one versus the second one. So a little shorter because I had the length of short to the point. But again, a really, really easy way to go through and interact with the documents, provide comments, first to create the documents and create the content in the first place. You can see a whole list of different things you can do here. So you can rewrite the following text. Let's make this bullet separate. A whole bunch of stuff you can do here, including your prompt history and so on. It's just an amazing, amazing tool that you can use to quickly generate information and quickly generate content. You can even go in here and let's say these seven responsibilities we're not a huge fan of. We want to rewrite it. We can go here, rewrite the following text. We like short to the point. That's good. I like that for the content. But let's say for now, let's do a medium multi-paragraph response just for the sake of demonstration. So it's going to rewrite the following text for me. Once it's done, here we go. Again, it gave it into more of a paragraph form here, maybe more of a memo type of thing. If you wanted to go short to the point, we can do the same thing here. Just do short to the point. It's done. And then we can put that right into there. So here we have it. There is our new responsibilities. And voila, it's all said and done. So phenomenal tool. Here's how to get to it. I'll show you this real quick. You go to add-ins, get add-ins. And you're just going to type in Ghostwriter, and there you have it. As simple as that. Really hope you enjoyed this tool. It's phenomenal. Go ahead and play around with it. You will not be disappointed about this capability.